Hello. Hi. We're knackered. Since we last saw you, we've done 130 miles, <laughs> 65 lux, Fran, and I think four tunnels. One well, was a tiny tunnel, though, it has to be said. It was a tiny tunnel, but still four tunnels. And that's more than we've like travelled in, what, two weeks, is that? That was that, that was in over just over a week we've just done that, like, yeah. More than we've travelled most months. Um, just been crazy. Mad. Have, actually, we've really enjoyed the long cruising days, though, haven't we? We have. Just, we've yeah, had a couple of days off, but, yeah, long cruising Through days. Through all weathers. So we're here, finally here at Crick. And this afternoon we're going to take Laura Maisie into the marina uh, where she's going to be on display. Yes. Yeah, so Exciting times. Been scrubbing and cleaning oh, and polishing. It's, it reminds me actually of when we had the holiday cottage and you used to have to go and do the clean for, <laughs> uh, for guests. So it's going to be really nice like living on the boat for a few days with it spotless. Um, back to normal next week. <laughs> so um, it's really exciting, we're really looking forward to it. Today is Tuesday, we're tired of cleaning, we're tired of painting and touching up and uh, hopefully the boat, she looks absolutely stunning again. So um, hopefully it'll be okay for Elton Moss and yeah. they'll be happy with it on display. And we're just looking forward to having fun now at the, at the boat show, meeting lots of people, meeting friends, meeting new friends. And, yeah, um, it'll be good fun. It's, it's gonna be, I think, tiring and I think we'll be really glad to get back out for peace and quiet, but we are really looking forward to it. I've had a look at my Ordnance Survey map already on my phone for escape routes when <laughs> we want to get out. Fortunately, we've been um, moored here, I think, sort of September time last year. Mm. And there are woods and there's a lovely hill. And because it's Jubilee weekend, they're going to light a beacon on top of the hill on Thursday night. Yeah, we'll go to that, um, won't we? And there's a big bonfire in the Jubilee woods. Um, which was the last Queen's Jubilee and of course we're now on the Platinum Jubilee but it will be good we'll go and join in a little bit of the local stuff as well won't we in the yeah, evenings yeah. So. so 70 years on the throne our, our blessed Queen yeah if you're into that yeah. sort of thing <laughs> that's only nine years or longer than I've been alive well there you are <laughs> So yeah, here goes for Crick and uh, we'll keep you posted. We'll hope to do little short videos here and there, depending yeah. on the Wi-Fi. Our Wi-Fi has gone down. We've spoken yeah. to the providers. They don't have a clue. Boats just further up have got Wi-Fi. So, so we're actually um, gonna have to borrow Wi-Fi off of a neighboring boat if we can get this video up. We hope we can because we've yeah. got nothing. No. And they're working on it, but there's no idea when they're gonna be fixed. So who knows? Anyway, uh, we've got a little bit of video together of our last uh, few days, week or so. <laughs> and uh, yeah, poor old Archie and Jess haven't got a clue what's coming up, have they? No. It's going to be really interesting, no. but uh, they'll enjoy all the fuss and the, and the pats on the back, won't they? And the biscuits yeah. and everything else. Yeah. But yeah, here's a little bit of video and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Cheers. Yep. What's happening, Fran? <laughs> We've bought loads of lovely flowers to go in the bo in the pots, but um, I, I just find it hard to get rid of old plants. So I'm trying to revive or retrieve all the bulbs from the tulips and the daffodils and the snowdrops. And um, I don't quite know what I'm going to do, but I'm going to try and save them for next year. Um, see what happens. If I had a garden, it would be easier just to plant them back in or store them. But this is all I've got, so that's what I've got to make do with. So what are we planting? It was, oh, it's a red theme this year. <laughs> We've got some tomato plants and some chilies and some new herbs, and then lots of lovely red flowers. I don't know what's happened to this little gerbera, but um, yes, and the, these, I know they're straggly. You don't like them rich, do you? Because they're not very pretty. But these are just salad onions that I just, every time we have any onions, I just stick them in the ground. Now we just use these leaves in a potato salad or in a salad and they're fantastic. Oh, I love the taste of them, just that they look a bit naff, don't they? I'll put them in with some flowers around them, make them pretty, don't yeah. worry.
There she is, Miss Litter Picker 2022. So you made yourself some friends then yesterday, Fran? <laughs> I had the best time. It was so exciting. We'd passed a farm a while ago that had alpacas there, but nobody was around. And we phoned them up this time. And this lovely man invited us back. And they sell all this absolutely gorgeous alpaca wool. And I even know the names of the alpacas that each piece of wool has come from. Um, they'd been sheared just a few days before. Some of them are dyed pink and orange because they roll in the ground and the earth is quite red round here. So to get white wool, sometimes it has pink flecks in it. And if that happens, they, um, they dye it pink and red. But these grey brown alpacas. And I was able to feed them, put my hand out and feed them. And this is just like, so soft. So I've got this and I've got some raw alpaca fleece um, from Duchess, the alpaca <laughs> called Duchess that I'm going to try spinning myself. So, yeah, really excited. They're really shy animals, though, aren't they? Oh, they're beautiful. Great big eyes, big eyelashes um, and so soft and so gentle. Uh, and you know I think it's my future. You know, they've been really looked after well as well, don't you? They look, you know, they've got loads of acres and acres of fields to roam around. You, and... you do know that because people, you know, and I used to think that you're safe using wool because it's, you know, a, a good source of uh, material. But sheep are not always kept in good conditions. And sometimes they're shorn really down to the skin when they're tiny um, and it's not good. But I try whenever I buy wool new wool i only buy it where i know where it's sourced from and this is just the best stuff i don't know what i'm going to make yet but oh, we're going to crack on then <laughs> Junction right by the Greyhound pub, one of our favourites, and uh, we're leaving the Coventry Canal today to rejoin the Oxford Canal. We're actually at the place where we picked the boat back up when our friends had it for a week, and we're getting ever closer to Crick. And uh, we've been putting some miles in this last week to get from Stafford to here, but uh, really enjoying it actually. So, we're going to find somewhere in the next couple of days to moor up for a few days so we can get all the little bits and bobs done to the boat that we need to do for the boat show. So things are buzzing, we're really looking forward to the boat show, there's lots of other vloggers going to be there so it'd be nice to uh, make contact with them again and meet some we've never met before. How's it going, Fran? <laughs> I've got the ice, just haven't got the gin and tonic. <laughs> <laughs> 
See this girl, number one fool, doing a bit of gardening at the front of the boat and locked herself out. Now she has the ignominy of walking the gunnel. Into the bowels of Braunston Tunnel. We'll be in here for at least half an hour. The boat coming through. So I'm glad I haven't done the paint work just yet. What's going to do with that then? Well, I've got um, I've treated myself to a drop spindle and I haven't had a chance to use it yet. But Rich seem, seems to think I can uh, get enough to weave him a jumper <laughs> or knit him a jumper. Yeah, we'll see. Going. But in the meantime, it's just clean and lovely. Look at that. Maybe get some plant dye and try dyeing it greens and pinks. Who knows? New project. Mm.